Here we are, 20th of May, and this is the Tapping into Soul for Fertility webinar recorded in Costa Rica. <clears throat> I want to thank you for being present on this webinar for the ones that are live or the ones that are going to listen to the replay. Um, I want to talk a little bit, very short, about who am I, you know, why am I doing this uh, webinar? Because I've been working for more than 25 years in this field and I have gone to a place where I really, really understand that the root of all problems is exactly the same. But I chose fertility today because creating of a, the creation of a human being is definitely like the greatest miracle on this earth, at least, I would say. And I want you to understand why, what might be blocking your ability to procreate, to, to create that, that miracle. I've been working in this field for over 25 years, and you can get more information about who I am uh, in my website and listening to the three videos that I have uh, put out recently, small videos. But I have been seeing so much pain in a lot of young women that have been trying and trying to do all kind of things to procreate, to become pregnant, and they have no way to understand that there might be something else than just a physical limitation. Here, I'm going to offer you something that is completely different to open your mind to a new perspective and to open your mind to a possible new solution, solution, solution. And I'm not trying to convince you or convert you to anything. I just want you to open your mind and listen to what I have to say about my understanding, my vision on the fertility problem and how it has been working for a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, a lot of people in, in, in the past. So I will give you here an overview. In this webinar, I would like to touch, because honestly, in 45 minutes, I cannot really uh, go for very long and go into details about what I feel uh, could help you. But we're, I'm going to touch five themes. The root of infertility, according to myself and all my years of work, the connection between stress, body, and soul. Why do you think my website, my company, my business is called stressful to soulful? There is a definite connection between stress, body, and soul. The third point is how tapping into soul can transform that problem. And I've seen it firsthand. And then the fourth point, I will give you some tips to support the process, okay? And we'll offer you my services at the end. So first of all, I would really like to see if anybody has a particular question, you can go into the question and answer and uh, not the chat. I will let go of the chat, but I would like you to maybe ask questions. And I will be checking once in a while to see what is happening with uh, the, the question. So maybe some of you have the problem. Maybe some of you who are listening want to know my point of view. And maybe some of you are listening because you know uh, people, maybe relatives who have that problem and you want to let them know about this different perspective. 
Now I'm going to go right away to the very root of that fertility problem, according to me. And according to me, the root of fertility problem is fear. Yes, you may not be aware of that fear. Okay, it's a hidden fear. And that fear is really deep, deep, deep into your unconscious. Now, I'm going to say something that will surprise you, but 95% of your life is controlled by your subconscious. Your conscious mind controls 5%. Now, this is not Janine Fafard who is saying that. It has been known by the greatest yogis for thousands of years, and now the science is proving it, honestly. Now, the subconscious is programmed before you are seven years old. Therefore, the root of your fear is definitely not what's going on in your life right now, no matter what the situation is. The root of the fear is in something that got trapped in your body before seven years old, and I'm talking even maybe in the belly of your mom. And what happened is that fear, fear is an energy. Now, you know, Einstein said everything is energy. All is energy. And quantum physicists are saying, for example, David Bohm, he's saying matter is frozen light. Okay? So everything is energy, and that's what we're going to work with today. Fear is an energy. Your whole body is based first on energy. Your body is a manifestation of an energy, which we could call light. It's exactly like the electricity in, in a house. You know, you can change the light bulb and it won't change anything if it's a cable that is not working. So here, we're going to look for the very root. Where did the cable got stuck or distorted or broken? By the way, according to the ancient traditions, you have over 72,000 channels of energy in your body. Acupuncture works with about 14 of those channels. The most important channels are about 14, not 14,000, 14, okay? And the tapping is going to work with these energy channels, which are called meridians, by the way. So now I made a big assumption. The root of infertility is a hidden fear. Okay. So the truth is that we're going to look at what is happening with that trapped fear before seven years old. You're a child, doesn't matter how old, even if you're a tiny little bean in the belly of your mom, if something traumatic is happening around you, you're only absorbing the energy of that event. And you cannot process mentally that energy. That energy gets overwhelming. And it, 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 is, it is creating a deep fear in the body. And that fear gets trapped. Okay? And at, because you cannot process that fear, the only solution that you have Contrary to what everybody talks about, the stress response is fight or flight. You're a little baby or you're a little child. You cannot fight. You cannot run. So what happened is you freeze. And then there's something else that happened. You fly out. That is 
may be very difficult for some of you to understand, but what I mean by that is you split off. There is like an energy that jumps out of your body. By the way, even if you're an adult and you're having a small car accident, for example, I can guarantee you, you're going to be, part of you is going to freeze and another part of you is going to jump out of the body because of the shock. And in a few seconds, you'll be back. I've been working with that, I can assure you, for many, many years. And it is happening constantly. The child has no other solution. It cannot run away, it cannot fight, therefore it freezes and it flies out, it jumps out, it splits off, okay? So that fear that gets stuck in the body creates tension. So therefore, the very first solution to a problem is to release that tension because the life force in your body gets activated through relaxation, not through exercises, okay? That life force is concentrated in your belly. It may sound, again, it may sound strange, but I can assure you that it is. Your belly is the power center, not your brain. That was a big statement there too, but I want you to understand the belly is considered like your, I would say, nuclear central area. It's a power center. It's a center of sexuality. It's the sense, center of sensuality, of creativity, of money, and even of spirituality. So therefore, that energy that is contained between your pelvic area, you know, and that's why I consider your belly like the holy grail, because it looks like a chalice. That energy is represented by the element of water. And that energy needs to flow. So when the stress is so high that it creates a frozen state in the body, that frozen state is going to create a problem in the body. And for the ones that are listening because you're more concerned about fertility or I would say infertility, it is blocking the energy in your sexual organs. It's not relaxing at a point that it can function normally. So we need to restore the balance in that area, which is called homeostasis. Here, I would like to mention something that I would believe that nearly everybody knows about Deepak Chopra, have heard at least of him. He has written over 50 books or so. And one of his little lists that is not very well known by most people is called The Ten Keys to Master Your Life. Now, the very first key that Deepak Chopra mentioned to master your life is listen to your body's wisdom. And honestly, my whole work, all my yoga classes that I've been teaching for over 26 years, my whole tapping into soul process has been based on this particular key listen to your body's wisdom. And that's why I help the person to connect with the body because the body knows exactly what is going on. The body is not there to punish you. Contrary to often people will think that, oh, I deserve to have this problem. Oh, I did something bad and I'm being punished. 
that's not true. The body is constantly trying to talk to us because the body is the temple of the soul. Okay? What is your soul? It's the divine spark, the divine drop from the cosmic field. Name it the way you want. If you don't like the word God, call it the universal force, the cosmic force, whatever. But the soul is the life force. You know very well that when the soul leaves the body, the body doesn't function anymore. So what is the base of that soul? Of course, it's energy again. And in us, in our body, this energy expresses itself through emotion. Emotion is nothing else but an energy in motion. You got that? Emotion, energy in motion. It's the essence of an emotion to flow. It must flow like the river. Remember I said that what is contained in your pelvic area, in your belly, is represented by the element of water. That water needs to flow. And if it is blocked, if that energy, if that emotion is trapped in the body, it's going to create a problem. And for the problem of infertility, it gets trapped in the sexual organs. Why? We're going to look at it a little bit later. But for the moment, I wanted you to understand the connection of stress. Okay, Stress is never external. It is entirely internal. The stress is created by the mind. Okay? It creates anxiety. Anxiety is a byproduct of your fear. Anxiety is not the cause of your infertility. Okay? So stress is creating a lot of tension in the body and particularly in the belly area. And your belly area is your power center. So we definitely need to release that power. By the way, personally, I've never, never liked the expression negative emotion. Why? Because an emotion is what it is. We are human beings that are going to feel the whole range of emotion at one point or another. We're going to feel rage. We're going to feel hate. We're going to feel anger. We're going to feel sadness. We're going to feel joy. We're going to feel anxiety, resentment. We're going to feel it. But that energy needs to flow, needs to be channeled. It doesn't mean it gives you permission to either kill someone or uh, hit or hurt someone badly. No, it needs to flow correctly, okay? So as far as I'm concerned, there is no negative emotion. But when that emotion is trapped before seven years old, let's say, let's say you're five years old and you're seeing your father hitting very strongly your mother. Maybe one time, maybe a hundred times. Let's say that it's an example I'm taking here. And you're four or five years old. What do you think you're doing? You are in shock. You are terrorized. You are very sad. You feel helpless and you feel very angry also because you cannot do anything. And the shock is going to freeze you. You're frozen there like a little animal with the lights at night that freeze on the street, you know, the headlights of a car. A deer will freeze right there, you know. 
So you're like a little deer. And this violent moment that is happening in front of you, you freeze and you need to do something. Otherwise, it, you're going to be feeling a short circuit. It's overwhelming that energy that is coming to you, the energy of anger, of fear from your mother, anger from your father, for whatever reason. It goes into the body of the child. It is overwhelming. The child will jump out of the body because it has the capacity to do it. We all have. And it's going to hide somewhere. It's going to hide in a safe place, maybe under a bed, maybe in a closet. It's like a twin. It's like a double. And that twin or that double may stay there for years, maybe for days, maybe for months, but sometimes for years, sometimes for life. And here you are, let's say, a woman that is wanting to procreate you've been trying everything it seems that there is nothing wrong on your physical body to be able to procreate and for some odd reason nothing is working now what could be the cause i told you earlier the cause is a fear the fear that got stuck in your body and you have a model of a woman that is being beaten up it doesn't mean your husband is beating you up your husband might be the sweetest man in the world but the fear of the four-year-old that saw mother being beaten up froze the child inside and it created something a false belief and that false belief is enough to block your ovaries to function properly why because you got an image a model of the feminine that is so scary that you decided that for some odd reason no way i'm not going i cannot go there because if I become a mother, I'm going to be hit. It's a completely false belief. But that is how a false belief controls your biology. It's not just me saying that. There's a whole new science called epigenetic. I had the chance some years ago in a conference of ICEM to uh, meet with Dr. Bruce Lipton. And I was able to uh, share with him my own view about beliefs and everything. He wrote the biology of belief. And I told him how much he was my hero because um, he proved scientifically what I had been telling people for maybe 25 years from my intuition that the false belief controls the biology. And in for your case, it's infertility. And it's the same with a man. And I, like I explained in one of the small video, I explained that um, the, for example, a man, he had a very low count of sperm. And we discovered that there was this energy of death in his belly. Now, I'm not going to go into the whole uh, session to try to explain to you, but to just give you a sense of how what got stuck there blocked the sperm from the moment that we released that energy from his belly i think within a month or two months he was able to procreate so the power of belief is absolutely incredible on your biology okay so what 
I would like to explain is how come my tapping into soul can lift up the fear or lift up that false belief. Well, I came across that 25 years ago or more, I think. And for a long time, I didn't really understand how it was working, but I knew something was working. And I realized that if you give a chance to your body to talk to you, the body never lies, never, never lies. The mind is a whole other game. The mind can create a lot of stories because you're functioning on perception. But the body has every single second of your life recorded in every cell. And that, I can assure you, for example, a fabulous, incredible, one of the most important expert in the chemistry of the brain, once in an interview with Bill Moyers, Dr. Candace Pert, she said, the mind is in every cell. Therefore, what I help you do, I help you connect, go into your subconscious. And here there is something that happens, is your conscious mind will put every fight possible to not let you go into the unconscious. The conscious mind believes that it needs to protect you from what is there. But the truth is that if you want to release the false belief, if you want to release that fear, you need to go into the unconscious. And in a very strange way, I discovered this passage, this way. And it took me years to understand that it was the gap that, again, Deepak Chopra talks about the gap and the cellular memory. In yoga, it has a name. It's called the chitta. So I help you dive into your cellular memory because it's imprinted in every single cell of your body. And I find a door. And there are thousands of doors in your body. It's not that one door is better than the other. Once we find a door and I help you go inside, your soul will guide you because the soul is the healer. Your soul knows exactly why you're having that problem. What happened? Where is the energy that is trapped? Where is that fear? Okay? And what I do is that I support you. I hold the space and it's absolutely fascinating. It doesn't matter, for example, if you have seen your father hitting your mother a hundred times or a thousand times. There is one, and your so one that really marked you. And your soul is going to take you to that place and will help you release it. There, there is a, a process that I help you with to release that energy. Like I said earlier, that energy needs to flow, nothing else. And I help you find compassion inside of you because here is the major main key of your healing is the heart. Love, love in the heart is going to heal anything. Because are you going to put a limit to divine power? I don't think so. And once you release the fear, once you release the, the false belief, that energy just opens your heart. You have no awareness that you have shields around your heart. And when you're able to release that, there is an incredible inner peace. There is an incredible joy 
that blooms out of your heart and the healing is happening. People have a hard time to believe that a healing can happen. For example, the doctor told you that your tubes are plugged or, you know, there, there is no way that uh, an ovule can go through or something like that. Like I just said, how are you going to put a limitation to divine power? There is no limitation to what you can do when you release the fear and the false belief. And one of the main instrument, tool, to help you do that, because I told you at the beginning, I would tell you the root of infertility, which I say it's a fear, and that fear creates a false belief. I help you understand the connection between stress, the body, and the soul. They, they just work completely together through the emotion. How my tapping into soul can lift up, can shift that blockage? Well, it's a little difficult to explain the whole process because it's all based on my intuition. And here I want to make a little parenthesis. Often people ask me, is it hypnosis? Well, funny enough, I don't like to call it hypnosis. I like to call it the hypnosis. Taking away the thing that you have here that makes you see life in a certain way. I'm doing everything to open your perception, to open your vision so that this energy can flow properly. It means a shift in consciousness, okay? And so in another webinar, I will give very clear example or even maybe uh, doing a session uh, on, on, the, on the webinar right there to show how we can go by going into the body, finding a door, going through, connecting with emotion, and coming to a very specific cellular memory. There is nothing that is hidden from you. I always tell people, and they laugh when I say that, it's better than Google. Because when you go into that place in the chitta, you have access to everything not only your own cellular memory, but the cellular memory of the whole universe. It may diffi be difficult to hear that or understand that, but I just say, stay open and feel. Feel what I'm talking about is true or are you resisting it? It's okay if you're resisting it. There is no problem with it, okay? But one of the main, main key that I tell people for like over 30 years to help you connect is belly breathing. Now, everybody tells you breathe deeply and uh, in all conferences or webinars or workshops, Breathe deeply, but very uh, most often I have noticed nobody shows exactly how to breathe. So it's one thing that I nearly have to do with every single person that comes to see me is to teach them how to breathe properly. It's nothing like an advanced breathing. It's the breathing of a baby. It's the essential way of breathing the most natural way of breathing that you have lost, at least since you're seven years old, sometimes even earlier, maybe since you're four or five, which is a real pity. But if you want to see or feel how can it be, you can listen to some of my audios 
in my website, which is, by the way, being renovated. And, um, and there is some areas that are not functioning, but in one week maximum, it's going to be fully uh, operating. But the audios are there already. You can listen to some audios on belly breathing. When I tell you that your belly is your power center, it's so, so important. Your belly and your brain, they need to communicate. And in most people, they don't. And that's usually why I use the expression head body split. And where is more most people having their tension in the body? In the shoulders, in the neck. I mean, it's really sad. But the truth is that the expression of the pain in the neck, pain in the shoulders, honestly, the very root of that pain is lower, is in the belly and behind, you know, your lower back. Most lower back pain, I would say over 80% of the lower back pain are related with breathing wrongly. Most of the heart problems, they are related to the wrong way of breathing. Can I give you a little hint, for example, the um, high blood pressure? People think that they have to take a pill for the rest of their life. I cannot tell you don't take the pill, but I can assure you if you start doing the belly breathing correctly on a regular basis, more and more so it gets integrated in your life, in a few weeks, your doctor will take the pills down. Since the early 70s, it is considered as the best way of lowering blood pressure but people don't know about it it's really unfortunate and how is it going to help you with fertility ha huh. you know where do you conceive that baby in your belly in your belly so you really need to get more connected with your belly not breathing from your chest doesn't mean the air goes into your belly. It means that your diaphragm, which is the muscle, the most important muscle in your body after the heart is going to work properly. Nearly nobody pays attention to that muscle, okay? You must connect with your belly. And once you're there, it's going to calm anxiety, it's going to calm your nervous system, it's going to release tension in your body. Tension is the very basis of all problems. You have too much tension in your body. So you need to really do the belly breathing. And then I'm going to give you a very, very weird little exercise to do. Men or women, no problem. But you have a muscle between your anus and your genital, and it's called the perineum. And all I want you to do whenever you want, nobody's going to see it. You just squeeze and release that muscle as often as you want, as fast or slow as you want. It's the beginning root lock. In Sanskrit, it's called the muladhara. But it's the beginning. It's a very beginning. And uh, even some Japanese said that you do that squeeze and releasing a hundred times a day and you never need a doctor. Maybe you want to try it. It's going to ground you. It's going to calm any anxiety in your body, any high level of stress. It's a funny little exercise that you can do at any time. Later on, you can learn how to do it with your belly breathing, but it's a little bit more complicated for the webinar here. I prefer to leave it right there as very beginning muladhara. You're driving and you are at a red light. 
you can practice your belly breathing, even if it's three conscious breaths. And you can do this little muladhara, root lock, squeezing and releasing, squeezing and releasing. It's going to take away your tiredness. It's going to give your immune system a real boost. It's going to help you sleep much better. All these elements are needed to create a, a place of, you know, your, your pelvic area to be much more healthy so you can become pregnant, okay? And the other one is very, very simple. As soon as you get too uh, nervous, too anxious, too stressed out, here, right in the middle of your chest, there is a gland underneath there, and it's called the thymus gland. And it is highly known that if you just tap on that thymus gland, okay, you're going to calm, calm all the stress, the anxiety, the worries, even better if you do it this way. If you put your hand flat right here and you start tapping between your little finger and your ring finger. So your this point here is very, very relaxing also. It's amazing point in tapping. It's called a gamut point. So here you're doing two action in one. You're tapping there. Okay. So I've given you three tips to start releasing tension, to start letting go of the level of anxiety and fear in your body. And of course, maybe for some of you, it will be enough. And suddenly you will feel more at peace. You will feel more joyful. Uh, you'll feel more relaxed. And it will all provide the space for you to become pregnant. But if you feel that there might be a traumatic event in your life that is blocking that energy to flow, I would suggest that you may contact me for a package of three sessions. I can assure you, usually I would say three and you're, you're good to go. Even after one session, sometimes everything is happening. But I'm offering, for the people who are listening to this webinar, I'm offering a package of three private sessions, tapping into soul, and I'm offering it at a special price of $240 for the ones that are listening to the webinar. And uh, that it's a two-hour session. Okay, I never do a one hour session and you, it can be done via Skype, it can be done via phone, it can be done in person if you live close by. I live in Costa Rica, so but I have done Skype session with people all over the world and it works perfectly well. And there is another offer that I would like to do is a six week program where you will come once a week, we will have a, a weekly call, a one hour weekly call, but it will include also the three private session of two hours each. But the weekly call may help you integrate, understand, and maybe release even faster certain things. And I can assure you at the very beginning when I said that fear is the root problem, the root cause of infertility, I must add fear is the root cause of any problems. And that's what I'm doing with my tapping into soul is I look for the um, fear. Okay, so I believe that I will leave you unless um, here 
my friend Lynette, I don't know if you have a question that you may want to um, ask me. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what happened to my video. I'm not even seeing myself on, on the uh, uh, webinar here, so I'm not sure if the video worked all through. And uh, I do have Lynette as a, a panelist. So, uh, Lynette, I'm uh, listening to you. Would you like to ask me a question about what I've said so far? Hi, yes. Are you listening? Yes, I am. Good. I have a question about, and I get what you say about um, the importance of looking inside for, for that blocks. But while we are trying to get pregnant, the, uh, and we are not getting it, the anxiety comes jumps in. So there are separate anxieties. One is my own, and one is the, the ones that of not seeing the results. So do you have an, a, an, a tip or, or an idea about how can we deal with that duality of my own anxiety and the own process anxiety? Yes, Lynette. And thank you for your question. And, and definitely, I know that it causes a lot of anxiety in, uh, in the women and the men that are trying to procreate. And, and it doesn't seem to uh, work well or something is happening. And then they go through all kinds of tests and dose tests or if you take hormones. I mean, it really creates a lot of tension in the body. As I said, uh, the belly breathing, the muladhara, the, the root lock, and the tapping on the thymus gland, those are three very simple ways to do it. Another way is to learn how to do the tapping, uh, the technique, not exactly my tapping into soul, but the technique of tapping, which originally was call, is called EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. And very soon I will have videos with a little introduction how to do it. And uh, But right now on YouTube, uh, you can find a lot, a lot of uh, videos, basic videos on how to do the tapping. The tapping means that you are working on specific points of those channels of energy while you're talking, you know, even though I feel very anxious, I choose to love myself. I choose to accept myself. And you're tapping here on that point, even though I feel terribly anxious because I can't get pregnant, I choose to love myself. And you repeat that like three times. And then you go to specific points. I feel anxious. I feel anxious that anxiety makes me feel really nervous this anxiety makes me feel frustration this anxiety makes me uh feel sick sometimes you know this anxiety makes me feel uh that i want to eat all the time or this anxiety doesn't let me sleep well and uh i'm open to let go of this anxiety i am letting it go and you see those are very simple tapping points on the body while you're talking about your feelings it's not focusing on the negative you're just speaking the truth you're feeling fear you're feeling anxious but while you're tapping on those points somehow there is something that happens in your nervous system and there are scientific studies proving what is going on. You know, it's not just woo-woo, I can assure you. And it's, there is something that is happening that suddenly your whole nervous system start calming down. 
they have proven that just with the tapping, with barely saying anything, even if you're saying, I'm stressed out, I'm stressed out, I'm stressed out, I don't like it, I'm stressed out, you know, you may lower the level of your cortisol and adrenaline, which are the stress hormones, you know, some of the worst stress hormones uh, flooding your body, you can lower this level by 60%. And there is no pills, there is no other thing on the market that can do something so fast. So I hope I'm answering your question. Just learning to do the tapping. My tapping into soul, I use the word tapping because I do use the technique with nearly everybody but not necessarily. And it goes beyond just the giving, the little tapping, because for 15 years, I was not using that technique because I brought it here in Costa Rica around 10, 12 years ago. And I realized that tapping was helping me going much faster to release that fear, that false belief that is creating the, the emotional block in your body that manifests as a problem in the ovaries or a problem in the uterus or a problem in the sperm count or do you understand so i'm using tapping but the truth is i played on the words also is tapping into soul very often we think that the soul is something so ethereal that we have no access to it, but it's not true. It's not true. You have access to your soul all the time. Nature is giving us messages all the time. Our body talks to us because that's the only way that the soul has to talk to us. The body is the temple of the soul. So the belly is the most sacred space. Okay, and if you can connect with it, if you can release the tension from the mind, because it's only the mind creating all the tension. Okay, it's creating stories, it's creating fear. The anxiety is created in the mind. If you relax and you go into the belly and you connect with your power center, the mind is going to calm down, the brain is going to say, Oh, there is no danger. And you're absolutely open to receive guidance from the God realm, from the cosmic realm, from the universe. You receive guidance and you know what to do, when to do. You, you understand? I'm sure. Not, okay. I'm not saying that the medical world is is not good no there are some incredible things that the medical world is doing but i'm saying that if you don't work with the energetic block because we are energy at the very base we are light beings and that energy if we don't work on that energy you know you can you're going to kind of like do patching and it, it doesn't work. It doesn't release the cause. And so always you must go to the root. And that is what I basically do for more than 25 years. And it's my passion to help people go into their body, connect with their soul, and allow the soul to do the, the work. So I would like to thank everyone who has been on the webinar or who is going to listen to the replay. And um, hopefully it's been, it's been useful. And uh, I'm welcoming any questions through my Facebook page or through my email. Janine at stressful to soulful .com. and uh, or even through Skype, 
you can communicate with me via many ways. And so I want to thank you very much for being here.